You can solve any linked list question using these three simple techniques. I just want to jump in here in post-production to let you know that we're starting this channel up again, so if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. The first technique is called lead lag. Using this technique, two pointers traverse a linked list at the same speed, but starting at different intervals. For example, let's say that we start two pointers, one at A and one at C. We'll keep the parallel distance of these two pointers the same as we traverse over the linked list. This technique is particularly useful if we need to do things in two steps or if we want to maintain access to nodes that we've already traversed over. In order to implement lead lag, we first need to instantiate a lag pointer, and then we instantiate a lead pointer, some number of steps ahead of our lag pointer. In this case, and in our example, we choose two steps ahead, but they could be one step ahead or more. Then we loop over to the linked list until our lead pointer is null, in which case we've finished our lead lag traversal. The next technique is called fast slow. Using this technique, we use two pointers to traverse over the linked list at different speeds. For example, if we started both of our pointers at node A, and we decided that our fast pointer would go twice as fast as our slow pointer, at the next iteration we'd land on nodes B and C, and then we'd land on nodes C and E, and finally we'd land on nodes D and the end of the linked list. This technique is particularly useful in situations where you want to use that property, for example, in cycle detection of a singly linked list. In order to implement fast slow, similarly to lead lag, we first need to instantiate a fast pointer and a slow pointer. Then we iterate over our linked list, moving our fast pointer by some factor more than our slow pointer. In our example here, we move our fast pointer twice as fast, so for every iteration of slow moving to slow.next, we also move fast to fast.next.next. Now note the termination condition of our while loop. Because fast requires not only its next, but also its next of next, that means that we need to ensure that not only is fast not null, but fast.next is not null. And of course, if our fast needed to move three times as fast, we'd also have to check if fast.next.next is not null. Lastly, we have linked list reversal. With linked list reversal, we make the head of our linked list the tail of our linked list, and vice versa. Additionally, all pointers of our linked list need to be reversed. So in our example here, where the head of our linked list is A and the tail is F, with linked list reversal, the head would be F and the tail would be A, and all the pointers would be facing the other direction. In order to implement linked list reversal, we need three pointers. The first pointer we call previous, and this will represent essentially the pointer that we will be swapping to. The next two nodes will we need to instantiate are called cur and next. They both start at the head of our linked list. Next, we iterate over the linked list. Next, we'll keep track of the next node in the linked list that we need to reverse, while prev and current will handle the reversal itself. By setting cur's next to previous, and then setting previous to cur and cur to next, we've reversed that section of the linked list and then we can continue on using the next pointer which we already moved forward in the next iteration of the loop. In the end we want to return previous because that will be the head of our linked list at termination. Now let's take a look at an example question where you can use all three of these techniques for an optimal solution. Consider the following question. Given a linked list L, we need to determine if it contains a palindrome. Now what do I mean by that? Is that the data within the first node and the last node is the same and the data between the second node and the second to last node is the same, and so on and so forth until we've reached the center of the linked list. If you look at the example on the screen, we have the linked list A, B, C, C, B, A. The first and second are both A, the first and last are both A, the second and second and last are both B, and the center is C and C. So this is a palindrome. So the obvious approach to this problem is to copy the linked list over, reverse it, and then travel over it in both directions simultaneously. However, we can do something a little better than that. First, we can make the observation that we only need to travel to halfway point of the linked list as long as we can go in both directions. So first, let's find the midpoint of this linked list. In order to do that, we can utilize fast slow. If our fast pointer is twice as fast as our slow pointer, then we'll travel to the middle of the linked list by the time our fast pointer terminates. Next, we can use linked list reversal 
to reverse the second half of the linked list. This gives us the opportunity to travel along the linked list in both directions. Then we can use linked list reversal to reverse the second half of the linked list and append it to the end of our first half of our linked list. And finally, we can use lead lag in order to travel over this linked list from the center and from the beginning, checking if it's a palindrome. In this case, it is a palindrome. Now let's implement it. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is implement the find mid function. Find mid, of course, uses the fast slow technique. So first we're gonna instantiate our fast and our slow pointers. Then we'll iterate over the linked list, traveling twice as fast on our fast pointer as our slow pointer. By traveling twice as fast in the fast slow technique, by the time our fast pointer reaches the end of the linked list, our slow pointer should be halfway through the linked list. This is a convenient way to find the middle of the linked list. Finally, we'll return our slow pointer. Now notice that in this version of find mid, our while loop termination condition is when fast.next or fast.next.next are null. This means that in the case of an odd number linked list, we'll return the center node, but in the case of an even number linked list, we'll return the left centered node. Because of that, when we use linked list reversal in the next step, we want to use it on t.next because we want to reverse the linked list at the right center node. We can utilize the same reverse function that we've described earlier for this part. And finally, we can use a lead lag in order to traverse over the linked list at two separate intervals in parallel to detect whether or not we have a palindrome. And our final code looks like this. As we traverse over the linked list, we check at every iteration whether or not our lags data and our leads data is the same. In the case where our lags data and the leads data is not the same, we simply return false to indicate that we do not have a palindrome, but otherwise we return true. So those are the three techniques you need to use for any linked list problem. If I missed a technique, feel free to comment it down below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Thanks. So for those of you that have stayed to the end, I'm curious what you guys think um, of our new format and you know what topics we should cover. I'm not entirely sure uh, what the best thing to cover is because you know if you look at my past videos, the most popular ones have been the splay tree videos. Now splay tree is a particularly niche topic, but it seems that when I do these more specific or more niche topics, they get to they they, they tend to have um, more views or people seem to like them more. They seem to have much more engagement. So, you know, maybe given the success of Splay Tree, we could do something like ABL trees. Um, I saw a comment suggesting Shreep. Um, I can do anything. So, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you guys uh, want to see. Oh, and one more thing. I've, I've been thinking of starting a channel related to some other topics. So look out for a uh, announcement in the near future.